Hey, what's up, my little title tiles, and what's up, Sussex Squad? Sit down, we gotta talk. All right, what are we talking about? That picture again, and also Megan and the Telegraph article. Now, you know, yesterday I was wondering who wrote this article? Who wrote this article? Who leaked? Now, let me just say this, right? It has come out from Megan. She has issued a full on rebuttal, basically dragging everybody okay basically calling the coronation a circus and i can't say i disagree with her and it's safe to say that it is not megan but you guys there's a deeper story in this who gave that article and we're going to talk about the walk back of the telegraph one of the only three publications that was not in any type of issue with um harry and that whole lawsuit one of the only three publications left in the uk that couldn't really say that they got in the mud with royals the fact that they went out on a limb even through legal and deliberately misquoted megan and put in language that led a lot of people including me to think if okay fine we know megan doesn't leak But I was like, this had to come through their camp because would the Telegraph be so stupid as to basically flat out lie? This isn't the Daily Mail misleading. No, it is a flat out lie. And they had to walk it back. You guys, who, who, who gave this information? And also, now that Megan has, rebu- has rebutted, she, she has no interest, blah, blah, blah. Let's also look at, all right, let's relook at the information. Because whoever gave this information, leaked this information, if you would, what was their goal? People are saying Charles did it so he didn't seem not racist. That is impossible. Because when you read this information, not only does he come off as that, he comes off as not caring, lip service, and covering up. Moreover, who gave this information? Royal sources are quoted. People are going. They acknowledge the existence that Meghan 100% had receipts. And these receipts are not a palace courtier. They are from the king of the realm of the UK. Some people are saying it's William and Kate. We're going to talk about that. But you guys, I 100% maintain there is something weird going on. And whoever leaked these receipts, right? What was their goal and who was it? Because I don't care what anybody says. And this is another reason why I thought maybe it's like, okay, fine. Not Megan. She doesn't leak. Maybe it's Megan's team. Right, or someone like an authorized owner is because those receipts made Megan look good. They made Charles look horrible. I know. I know what you guys are saying. Yeah, the UK, the royal family, they always make themselves look stupid. There's a difference between making stupid, make yourself look stupid, something uh, backfiring, and making you look just horrible. All right, you guys, and also we are going to talk about that Photoshop picture of the queen and all her grandchildren, and also the fact that, you know, I don't understand what is going on. People are bragging that, that you know, when Meghan and Harry came to visit, the queen met with them, but court- courtiers were bragging that, like, Lilibiv didn't get a picture with them. And I said this a long time ago, and I'll say it again. That is the utmost cruelty. That that is Lilibus' grandmother. Forget about the queen. That is her being the queen of the realm. That was her grandmother. And the fact that you denied her any lasting history with her grandmother, any memories to look out for, anything. It's just the cruelest thing. And the fact that you are bragging about that, I mean... I guess, right? Do you also want to brag that you like to kick puppies? Do you want to brag you canceled Christmas? Do you want to brag, right? Do you want to brag that you made the sun not shine anymore? Like, what else do you want to brag about? But back to that picture. Everybody's talking about the fact that they are, that it was Photoshopped. You guys, let's take a moment to laugh. Because while that picture may or may not have been photoshopped after looking at the receipts i tend to believe that it is photoshopped 
it was set according to the photographer that did a TikTok on it. It was such a horrible Photoshop. A third grader could have done it. Now let's get into why they say that this picture is photoshopped. All right. So they're saying this picture is photoshopped because of the light source. Everybody in that picture has a light source that is falling on the left side of, I'm sorry, the right side of their face. Everyone. When you have a prominent light source falling on one side of the face, it shades the other side. Not enough to be an issue, but you can definitely see that the light source is falling. So you look at everybody, the light source is falling on their face from the same angle. Everybody except for Louis. Louis does not have the light source from the right angle, but he has a prominent light source from the left actually reflecting in his hair. People are saying if the light source is that strong as to reflect in his hair, then it would fall on the two girls that are above and below him and also the couch. You see nothing at all. They're saying this is evidence of Photoshop. On top of that, and this is the part that makes me laugh ha 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 right we're gonna get to the mega stuff in a second i know that's what you guys came here for but let's just kiki is the fact that they are saying that when you look at it there are roses in the background and the color from the roses are leaking onto louis shirt why because they said that even though they photoshopped him in the lines were harsh and they tried to basically blend him in and the colors overlapped what there's more you guys they're also saying, okay, that his shirt and the couch are also blended. Y'all, I know the palace courtiers are idiots, and I know that they are stuck in 1989, but did some aide just discover face app and blend it in? You would think Kate and all her stuff for being a photographer would have properly learned to use Photoshop. And I gotta say, after seeing that evidence, forget about the light source. Okay, fine. In my mind, it's all but done. The fact that that picture was Photoshop. Again, it leads you to believe why would you release it? How does this make Harry and Meghan look bad? To say what? The queen, what, didn't accept Lilibeth, didn't care? The queen gave her blessing for Lilibeth to use her nickname. The queen flew Harry and Meghan in specifically for her jubilee and gave them a position of honor, made everybody in the royal court bow down to the king's son and his American wife. The queen met, literally skipped half of her own jubilee and met with Harry and Meghan and of course Lilibeth and Archie. Prince Charles also met with Lilibeth too. It, uh, like, what are they trying to prove? It was obvious history will show that the Queen cared about Harry, Meghan, Lily, and Archie. What are they trying to prove? That the Queen is what? Sat and took a picture of her other grandchildren? I'm sure she didn't know this was going to be a picture that erased Lilibeth. And also, what everybody's overlooking eugene and beatrice's children in the end of the day what did releasing that picture serve it served to prove what that, that the children that she was around are next heirs to like what is charles is doing a stream down monarchy is he trying to show what children are in and what children are out let's just say charles leaked it you're trying to show what children are in and children are out that doesn't really make any sense because he keeps trying to have a more and more and more streamlined monarchy. I know for a fact, according to Charles, Lydia Louise and her brother are not going to be ever get um, any type of royal working status. They're not even going to get the uh, the Edinburgh title. Czar Tyndall's kids like, OK, fine, they were the queen, but are, they're not going to be working as far as I understand. Czar, like, it doesn't make sense. Why did you release it? Who is driving this narrative? You guys, why do I keep up? Because there's something there. I can't put my finger on it. But there's something there. There is something going on. It is being played out stupidly. It's been, but there's something there. And it's almost like there is a rival faction outside of William and Kate and outside of Charles and Camilla. But who is it? Speaking of, let's talk about Megan. 
<laughs> okay. So if you guys want me to actually read from the proverbial strip, Megan came out and said, how dare you put me in this? Again, they said in response to a recent newspaper article about Megan, okay, um, the Duchess of Sussex is going about, she, Megan said, the Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversation four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus they alone are creating. Now, you guys, when I read that, I read, okay, Megan is annoyed by them. She has the right to be annoyed by them. She literally, but the funny thing is, this was the most Megan low-key classy drag in the world. You basically called them losers, said they need to get a life, and called the condemnation and all these articles around it and all these articles trying to get hype. You basically said get a life and called it a circus. You guys, you gotta love Megan. When she does respond, she responds well. Okay, fine. I said fine. Megan's off the table because any thinking person listen i'm not saying megan has like a but the telegraph has been one of the three newspapers who haven't really gotten in the mud granted their reporting has been biased okay i'm biased over here or against william i'm sorry against um with harry and megan and against william and kate i admit my unconscious bias actually my conscious bias because they've done too much okay so it's kind of like okay fine but my my thing is, if William, who leaked this? Because, like, who leaked this? Fine, it wasn't Megan. Megan never. Nobody in Megan's camp. Megan, and I think what took so long to Megan to get a denial, not that it took a long time, but I think Megan actually dotted her eyes, crossed her teeth, reached out to anybody that would have knowledge of this. And made sure. I know she already knew that they were cool. But made sure. Okay. That no one leaked. Shared information. Nobody went off the record. Made sure that her ship was tight. Harry and Meghan run a tight ship. Okay. Fine. And everybody. And also. That article. The lady actually backtracked. Again this is one of the reasons that made me think it was. Um. It was a uh, uh, some body in the camp, which it isn't, because this line in the story, they said the Duchess letter also is said to suggest she never intended to specifically accuse the individual involved of being racist, but was raising concerns about the unconscious bias. This is the sentence. However, it is understood that she that she does still consider the comment to be racist. That was like basically going on record as saying you have direct knowledge, direct knowledge that of the way Megan feels of what she said. And what's more, she actually made this comment. You guys, for a huge newspaper to go out on a limb like this, this is getting, I will sue you 101. And they know Harry and Megan ain't got a problem suing anybody. Did they not care? Did they get sloppy? Were they lied to? Is this bait to pull Harry and Meghan into an overall bigger... Like, was it like like a red herring to pull Meghan and Harry into a trap of suing? Again, you guys, we have to ask these questions. Because, honestly, there is a war going on. And the war isn't tip for hat tat. They really want to see Megan down bad. We need to pay attention to these things. We need to ask questions. We need to open up. It's not enough to be like, well, problem solved. No, it's not. This is a bigger issue. There is a bigger issue. This makes no sense. Something is coming. Now, again, Megan knows this more than anyone. And I will say Megan has a brilliant brilliant strategic mind brilliant strategic mind and please not strategic in any negative way but her mind is a brilliant thing someone that leads with kindness compassion love but she also is very pragmatic 
And maybe her brilliant strategic mind is her just staying true to herself, living by her core principles, and never straying from that. But let's also admit that she has been adept at outsmarting that idiot palace. And for that, we love her. But let's get back into this, right? They say, um, so anyway, they actually removed that. The story online was edited to remove that line. To show that that line was pure speculation. But to say it is understood she does consider the comment to be racist. It wasn't written like speculation. Somebody said that they're guessing that the once over by the Telegraph's legal department calls Victoria Ward to remove that sentence because she can't back it up. Meaning she wasn't speaking directly with Megan Steen and didn't have a true source that would go on record for claiming she still considers the comment to be racist. Yeah. But more importantly, there's this interesting theory. And we're going to keep an eye on this because something is a brewing. Right? People believe that Kai's, that, uh, 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 that Ka- Carrie... Ah, sorry, that Charles Camp released it. If they did, this is so stupid. This is the royal equivalent of John, De, of John Jonathan Majors releasing his text messages. Ro, uh, my royalty account said, Well, we can gather from the coordinator wrote a briefing that one, the letters exist. Why would you make the King of England legally responsible? Two, the name mentioned in the letters is so explosive for the monarchy that the Rota doesn't dare discuss the actual content of the letters, but instead wants to create distraction about Meghan. Somebody said, this is the only way that this makes sense. If this is a good theory, that this is a warning shot at William, and Charles is warning as proof that Meghan herself, from Meghan herself, about who said those racist remarks. Henry VIII said, I've always thought it was Charles. I'm not quite ready to admit defeat, but William, buddy. Both William and Harry knew the cruelty of Charles and Camilla. They knew their willingness to sacrifice others in order to obtain better press. Apparently, William thought he would always be able to offer the press a better victim. In the end, it will be William and Kate on the silver platter. That is until their children are old enough to attack you guys if Charles released this I, I I tend to side with the fact that this is a warning shot to William and that maybe not Camilla but William was the person in that made these remarks and that there is proof and that's why Charles reached out to smooth things over Not to smooth things over with Camilla, but because Charles and Camilla were being super strategic. You guys, this story is developing. We're going to talk about it some more tomorrow. I'm telling you, you guys, there is something there. And something that we need to pay attention to. I'm just saying, we haven't heard the end of this. It will blow up more. And kudos to Megan for coming out and letting them say, not today. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year. You may be having your coronation, but your reign of terror in my life ends today. You hear me, Camilla and Charles? Hey, William, Kate, it ends today. And also, oh my God, can somebody get Kate some Photoshopping classes? Because uh, she needs it. Anyway, my little titles, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.